at the time of my near-death experience, my life was just wonderful. We have had four wonderful children, and we did a lot as family. We played golf, we played tennis, we went skiing, and we did a lot of sports. We went to all the kids' sports activities, all their games, and we were very active with the family. So we did, I did Boy Scout troops and Girl Scout troops and anything that involved the kids at school. So it really was an at-home mom. The day of my near-death experience, I was playing golf with my younger son, John. And it, we were playing in Marblehead on a, our Tedesco Country Club golf course. And we were on the fifth hole, which was pretty far away from the pro shop. But we were having a wonderful time until I hit a lousy tee shot off the tee, went into the bushes and into the wooded area. When I went in to recover and look for the ball, all of a sudden I got stung by a bee. And I came running out. And within minutes, I was on the ground. I couldn't breathe. I had an anaphylactic allergic reaction, and I just was really out of it. And Johnny ran and got people to bring us in in the golf carts because we were walking. And um, he thought to get, to get some help at the pro shop. I was just unconscious, probably. And they picked me up and put me on the golf cart and brought me into the pro shop. So I was really out of it. So I didn't know what I was thinking or feeling. All of a sudden, I was in a different place. I was in the beautiful, beautiful light that is hard to even describe because it, we just don't have the words. You can't describe a sunset or a rainbow. We don't have the words to describe love. That was the kind of light that I saw, and it just embraced me, and it was so peaceful. I think it was just a place of pure love. And then an image appeared, and it got closer and closer to me, and I felt very comfortable, very at home. And I looked and saw that it was my mom, and she was very young and beautiful, as she always was, and very embracing and loving. And I wanted to be in her arms, but she put her hands up like a stop sign. And she said, you know that you are loved. You know you are love, but you can't stay here now. It's not your time. And I was, Phew! didn't even know what that meant, but before I knew it, I was whooshed right back into my body. And people were all around the golf cart, and I was a little conscious of people being there, a lot of noise going on. Wasn't sure what it was all about, however. But the man was making me sit up, and he gave me a shot, and it was Dr. Paul Hannaway, who was an allergist, just happened to be on the golf course at that time, and just happened to have an EpiPen with him. And that really saved my life. And then I was taken off to the hospital, where I was had more treatments and making sure that I was going to be okay. After I had my near-death experience, I felt in a different, different place. I personally was in a different place. And I questioned what had happened to me thinking, did I make that up? Did I dream that? And I said, no, I know it. I was there. And I thought, I want to go back there. But I knew that I was where I was supposed to be. And I felt so blessed to have had a near-death experience. As strange as that sounds, but I felt so blessed to see my mother, to see that's where we're going to go when we die. And to know that, because I always feared death, and I learned so much from that near the death experience, I knew that I no longer feared death, and I knew I had to work with people who were dying and those who loved them. 
I couldn't even go to funerals because they were endings. And then I realized there are no endings. <laughs>